how to use tarot as a tool for spiritual evolution. Let's get straight into the how-to, and I'll give you some more explanation at the end of the video. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take our tarot deck and separate out the major arcana, then throw the minor arcana away. Just kidding. We can use that for divination. Now, we're going to separate the major arcana into three groups of seven, like this. Mind. Body. Spirit. And the fool is gonna stay on the side for now. So here we have the seven categories. We've got the matrix, the potentiator, the catalyst, the experience, the significator, the transformation, and the great way. In short, the one seeking a target, unmoving, always active, the empty container, the chalice to be filled, unconscious, hidden, sought by the matrix. We'll go into the importance of this relationship just in a second. The catalyst, the reaction to be studied, the result can be either positive or negative. Experience, the lesson to be learned, being conscious of and learning from catalyst. Significator, the choice to be made, the witness, choose the meaning of the lesson. Transformation, the gold that's been transmuted, evolution, the understanding that comes from the work. And lastly, the path to be walked, the open door, unmanifest becomes manifest. So the goal here is to use the archetypes within the tarot to draw parallels to our own experiences, either on a daily basis over the span of months, years, or even your entire life. Let's begin with the magician. Number one, take this card, contemplate it, study it, and figure out what it means to you. That's of vital importance. Even though you can read books or go online and find other people's interpretations of these cards, while those interpretations are not wrong, they are not yours. You may find parallels between what you see and what others see, but what is important is what you see, what this card means to you. Contemplate the card, study it, figure out what it means to you, embody it. Live the magician, become the magician. Then you move down to the matrix of the body. Take this card, study it, embody it, then move on to the matrix of the spirit. Same thing, study, embody, move on to the potentiator of the mind. And you work through it in this manner, from top to bottom, mind, body, spirit. Now a quick note on body, because I personally struggled with this a little bit. What does body mean? Does it mean literally the physical body? I don't think it does. It incorporates that, but that's not what it's all about. What I believe body refers to is the ego, the matrix of ego, potentiator of ego, so on and so forth. You'll notice the fool is still on the side. We're gonna to come to that now. So once you've gone through all the archetypes from top to bottom, all the way to the end, and this can take some time. It can take months, it can take years. Don't worry about how long it's gonna take. Maybe it'll be quick for you, maybe it won't. Enjoy the journey. Once you've done that, then you gotta start again. But this time, you're gonna work in pairs. Now, we're going to take the matrix of the mind and the potentiator of the mind. 
and we're going to study them as a pair, study their relationship. I'm going to share my interpretation of these two cards, but I urge you to find your own. The magician represents the conscious mind, seeking for knowledge, the beginning of the path. The high priestess represents the unconscious mind. So together, this is magical practice, change, taking conscious control of the subconscious mind. Once you're done with this, then once again, you move down. Just a quick note that the original source of this information encourages you to work through the pairs from right to left. That means one and two together, three and four together, and so on. Working through the pairs from top to bottom is my own little quirk. I just feel that's right for me, but I encourage you to find your own way. Matrix and potentiator of the body. Take both these cards, study them together. What's their relationship? Then you move on to the matrix and the potentiator of the spirit. Once again, study them together. What do they mean to you? Then you move on to the next pair. Then we get to here. You'll notice we run out of pairs pretty quick. This is where the fool comes into it. The fool gets paired with each one of the significators. So you take the hero font and the fool and you contemplate them together. Then you move on to the hanged man and contemplate them together. And finally, the sun, and you contemplate them together. Then you're left with the final three pairs, the lovers and the chariot, death and temperance, judgment and the world. Then, in theory, you are done. Welcome to enlightenment. <laughs> in truth, this may take an entire lifetime. You may not complete it in a lifetime. You might have to do it several times. And all those outcomes are perfectly okay. You may even find that you get partway through and you have to start again. I personally feel that there have been two previous instances in my life where I've made my way up to the hermit then I got scared and I sabotaged myself and started again. But that's my journey to figure out. And that, fairly simply, is how we use the tarot for spiritual evolution. So what is spiritual evolution? If we accept the premise that we are more than what we appear, we're not a body, we're a soul, a multi-dimensional energy being, whatever you want to call it, whatever you believe, let's just for the sake of argument, accept the premise that this is not what we are. Spiritual evolution is about learning our lessons here in the physical illusion so that we can work towards moving on to the next stage of our existence so that we can stop reincarnating over and over again. We have a lot more work to do than what it appears from this existence. Let's take a step back and let's just speak physically for the moment. Let's say that you don't believe in any of that crap. <laughs> You're a body, this is you. Then this stuff is still useful. We're talking about archetypes here. We're talking about the building blocks of our psyche. I'm going to talk about this more in the future. I've ordered some uh, books by Carl Jung who, who goes into his own version of archetypes and I'd really, really love to compare this with what he was talking about. So even if you don't believe that we're going to move on to another existence after this life, this stuff is still useful for working through your shit. It gives you a guide, a vague step-by-step -step process for delving into what's in here. You could look at it as a tool for self-analysis. Okay, where have I gotten this information? Primarily, 
oh, from the Ra contact, teaching the law of one. If you've watched my previous videos, if you've seen my shorts, you know I love this thing. <laughs> I remind you not to take it as gospel, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And that's what I've done. A lot of what's in here resonates with me. There's a lot of stuff that's like, you know, unimportant details that I'm like, whatever, maybe it's true. I don't feel like it's important whether it is or isn't. But one thing that's really stuck with me is how it talks about tarot. So if you believe what's written in here, the original tarot was just the 22 major arcana and its original purpose was exactly what I just described. Then later on, other cultures added the minor arcana, started using it for divination and that's fine. Uh, it works. I mean, you can use whatever you want for divination and a lot of people have had great success uh, using tarot in that way, uh, but that's not its only use. So if you are interested in, in reading up on this stuff, this stuff is, f is free by the way. I, I mean, I like books, but you can just go online. I'll put a link in the description. You can just go to their website and the whole thing is available for free. You can even search uh, so you can find this stuff really easily. But if you want to get the books, it's book two where the bulk of this tarot stuff is located. There you go. If you have any questions, I will endeavor to answer them to the best of my ability in the comments below. Best of luck.